Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about coincidental separations. Coincidental is a mode, but let's do a little review here. So we know we have three types of modes, axial, tangential, and oblique. Axial between two walls can be sidewall, sidewall, front to rear, floor to ceiling. Tangential is four, sidewall, sidewall, front, rear, floor, ceiling, sidewall, sidewall, all kinds of combinations. And then the oblique are six surfaces. So we have six surfaces in a room, right? Floor, ceiling, and the four walls. So all kinds of pressure, all kinds of names, and all kinds of places. This is why treatment takes so much space and how you have to treat each wall surface. So we really have a fourth mode. It's called a coincidental. A coincidental just find is two octave bands, two frequencies even, that are within five hertz of each other. When they get within five hertz of each other, they get louder. That's the way you need to think about it. You could have 35, 38 hertz, 40, 44, 50, 55. They're close together. So when they're close together, they produce more issues. Rooms have an average we see of 10 to 20 modes, three to four coincidentals. So coincidentals that are 10 to 20 hertz apart are much easier to treat then those are clustered together. I saw a room the other day with nine coincidentals. Got to get a new room. So we want to look for the separation in the coincidentals. We're going to have them, but we want to look for the separation of at least 10 to 20 hertz, so they'll respond better to treatment, okay? That's the goal. So we must increase the surface area of coverage for coincidentals. If we have four or five coincidentals on one wall, Two walls, we're going to have to increase the surface area coverage at that frequency range. So that's what's critical. Let's look at the graphic here. You can see coincidentals. We got 63, 66, 93, 99, 232, 233, but they're all far enough apart, right? So the 60s and the 90s, the 230s. So we meet that 10 to 20 hertz requirement apart, so they're going to respond well to treatment, and we can get a higher resolution. To avoid coincidentals, we want to start with the right footprint. Remember, we have OD and ID uh, dimensions. We have outer dimensions and inner dimensions. Inner dimensions is after treatment. Outer dimensions is the basic footprint of the room. So we can avoid all that if we start with a footprint that keeps the coincidentals below 100 at a minimum. That's the goal in design. And I have to tell people sometimes, you know, you'd be better off finding a new room. And it happens. And it's better to know that than to fight your way through a situation that you can only achieve a certain level of resolution, and that might not be your goal. So coincidental separation, very critical in this modal pressure issue. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.